Hi, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Joining us today is Ivan Berrios, the CEO of the World Trade Center, and Alice Ancona, COO of the World Trade Center. Thank you both for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you. Can you touch on the mission of the World Trade Center? Sure. So the mission of the World Trade Center, we are a private nonprofit organization dedicated to assisting small and medium-sized companies with international business opportunities here in South Florida. Perfect. And how is being located here um, better the mission? Being so being right? located here, we're actually near Miami International Airport. So it helps us fulfill our mission. So plus we work very closely with the airport and the seaport here in Miami. We have a large contingent of foreign offices here in, in Miami. The bulk of them are, are actually in South Florida. So the state of Florida is, has the second largest contingent of foreign offices, uh, consular offices, trade representatives, and they're all here. Uh, so they're the bulk of, of the folks that are really in charge of moving people and cargo through the U.S., and, and most of that comes in through Miami. And we also have a large contingent of freight forwarders, exporters, and importers, especially west of the airport. So where we are physically located, it's perfect because we're right near the airport. So, 50% of all U.S. freight forwarders and importers are located in the state of Florida, the bulk of them being in Miami. Yeah. And then can you, can you touch on trade through MIA as well? Do you want to start? Okay, I'll start. <laughs> well, you know, trade through MIA is basically what goes through MIA is fl the flower trade, uh, biomedical equipment pharmaceutical equipment and we're MIA is one of the a few airports in the world that has been certified as a pharma hub um, along with the airport in Sao Paulo and Brussels Airport. Uh, we also have a lot of e-commerce. I mean Amazon has just has like four or five warehouses now just at Miami International Airport. That doesn't include what they have up in North Miami and in South Miami. So what facilitates trade is the relationship that the business community has, the importers and exporters, freight forwarders, brokers have with federal agencies. So we have a couple of pre-clearance programs that help facilitate tra trade through the airport, really in through Miami. Um, we have a pilot program, Ocean to Air. So cargo comes in, mainly perishables come in through ocean, and they can be shipped out through air uh, using Miami International Airport. And that's the only pilot program like that in the state of Florida. And Ivan mentioned uh, e-commerce, so we do have a program called Compra Fora, which is with Brazil, so products that come in from Asia into Miami International Export Airport that are e-commerce related then go into Brazil already cleared through customs. So they enter Brazil as Brazilian products. Uh, so that facilitates a lot of the trade that moves in. But those are just two examples of pre-clearance programs that exist here. But uh, really what drives a lot of that trade is that partnership an industry has with federal agencies. Uh, a lot of these trusted trader programs and pre-clearance programs move trade real quick through, the, through our airport. Yeah, and the World Trade Center does a bunch of programs with regulatory agencies to help importers go through the guide importers through the guide of getting their products into the country. We do a lot of capacity building. Uh, that is also in partnership with industry and federal agencies to help um, not just drive more traffic through our airport and through Miami, but also uh, get them up to speed on the latest programs that exist, uh, new guidelines, and the special preclearance programs that we have here in Miami. And then why should a, a company want to um, implement their shipping strategy through the airport, through MIA? Well, aside from the preclearance programs, which really expedite trade, I mean, this is something that, you know, you don't have to be waiting for an inspection. It's already pre-cleared once it arrives, whether it's an import or an export, and it's going somewhere else. But the, the unique features that Miami International has is just the airlift into Latin America. Um, so many flights go into Latin America. It's the top airport for Latin American air cargo from the U.S. 50% of all Florida's exports actually leave from Miami International Airport. Uh, so a lot of the trade flows into Latin America really handle through Miami International Airport because of the frequency of flights. But more importantly, uh, it's not just the access to Latin America. It's domestic access, but also European access. So increasingly, you know, for example, the air to, air to uh, ocean to air pilot program that's for perishables that are coming into Miami that then are flown to Europe. So we have tremendous airlift into, Flora, into Europe. So that expands your market access of not just entering into the U.S. and reaching Latin America, but also reaching European markets. So between the specialized products that we handle, from pharmaceuticals to perishables, even animals. Um, I think we have yep. uh, reptile trade, cattle trade, et cetera, all of that that comes in through Miami International Airport. But it's also the global access that you can reach from just that one airport and from being here in Miami. Yeah, Miami International Airport has more than a, concentra a concentration of more than 40 air cargo airlines 
um, here just at this airport, which no other airport in the country has. And also import export through Miami International Airport grew 28% to $67 billion last year. Wow. It's a leading airport on air cargo during COVID. It was the only one that uh, showed a profit. I mean, it, it had high gains during that time just because of that connectivity. And other added benefits that we have here is, is the county is an, an entire foreign trade zone. So if you have foreign trade zone operations as part of your import-export business, you can do that here and move cargo in and out of the airport and the seaport uh, just using our foreign trade zone and, and save on taxes and duties. And then can you share any um, business wins that, that, that took place through MIA? The flower trade is just booming. There are over, I believe there are over 25 floral importers in the state of Florida right now. All of them concentrated here in Miami-Dade County. And the addition of, of cargo lines, so Royal Air Maroc, which got us uh, direct mm -hmm. flights into Asia, into Africa. So now we have uh, greater flight service or greater access, direct access into Africa and Israel. So right. El Al was the other airline that was right. added. So this And Ethiopian expands. Airways. Ethiopian is the other one. So that expands our market reach into other parts of the world beyond just the, the heavy markets, yeah. which is Latin America and Europe. Perfect. And then if the viewers want to get more um, information, where can they reach you all? Oh, you can reach us at www.worldtrade.org or www.wtcmiami.org or here at the World Trade Center at 305-871. 7910. Perfect. Well, thank you both for joining us and thank you all for tuning thank in. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>